our patterns today in our class. Uh, we're covering, uh, well, specifically, we're covering the the ABCD pattern. Okay. So the ABCD pattern, which I'll get to shortly, uh, they happen all over the place, and they can be used uh, for, for entry as well as take profits. Um, before we get going, I just going to run through the disclaimer quickly. Spread betting, forex, and CFD trading carry a high level of risk to your capital and can result in losses that may exceed the initial deposit. Trading of these products may not be suitable for everyone, so please ensure you understand all the risks associated with trading. Information and comments provided here under no circumstances are to be considered an offer or solicitation to invest. And all information providers believe to be accurate the data information is produced. Nothing here and should be construed as investment advice and information provided within the room is the personal opinion of the moderator and not trader mode. This content does not constitute financial investment or tax advice, and Trainway does not accept any liability for the content of the comments made during the session. All right, so what I've got now is a chart up of the uh, euro dollar here. And what we're going to cover quickly is the ABC pattern right now. It's a very simple pattern. It's all it is really is we have a single leg in the marketplace all right so we get a thrust up price then retraces okay so it retraces part of that move from this leg up let me label this quickly because this is how we're going to have it's got a price then rallies up to b okay it then pulls back and retraces okay and once it's finished retracing, we can then label that as point C. And very simply, what we're looking for is we're looking for the market to turn around and move up again. But we're looking for it to equal this leg here, this AB leg, okay? So we're looking for this AB leg to equal itself, so the CD area. And what we would look at doing is very straightforward looking to trade point D okay either trade point D as in enter a new position or we can use point D as an actual take profit point okay so let's say for example if we're looking to trade short a point D we'd obviously look to enter a new position at this area or if we let's say we've entered somewhere at C on the retracement, then we can look at point D to get out of our position. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Okay. So all it is, it's two equal legs in the marketplace. So this leg here, AB, is equal to CD. Okay. That's essentially what we look for. Now obviously there's a little bit more to it than just that if we're looking to actually enter at. If we're looking to take profits, then we can simply use it like this, okay? So we're looking to take profits, we can look at taking profits at this point. Now, how do we work out, well, I'll show you some tools we can use shortly, how we can work out um, the whole thing. So that's what we call a bearish ABCD pattern. Sorry, let me just put this back in there quickly. That's a bearish ABCD pattern. Okay, because we'd be looking to sell short. The bullish ABC pattern is just basically the opposite. So we have a drive down where we have A to B. Okay, price then retraces. And once it retraces to a point and starts to turn around, we can label that point C. And very simply, what we're looking to do as traders is either anticipate where point D is going to form, looking to get long, or if we're in the market already short, we can take profits over here, okay? Now, if you had to go and look at this in a, uh, a book or manual or something like that on the internet, you would see it looking like this, and this could possibly confuse you somewhat these triangles, okay, Sim sort of symmetrical with type patterns, okay, 
But don't get confused with, with the triangles. Very simply, the pattern itself, the pattern itself looks like that, okay? And what you'll notice with this, right, is the pattern looks like a lightning bolt, okay? It gives a zigzag formation, okay? So now we understand what the pattern looks like. Let's have a look at how we can use the pattern. Now, there's some simple simple uh, rules, or um, well, there are obviously some rules around. But what I'm going to look at, first of all, is using it as a take profit point. Now, if you have a look at your FIB tools, uh, if you're using MediaTrader or other software, you want to find something that says FIB expansion, okay? Not the Fibonacci retracement, the FIB expansion tool. Now, if it's not up there, which it, I doubt it will be, you'll need to go into this little box here. So you've got a little dash thing here. Just hover your mouse over there and right click. And when you right click, it'll say, it'll come up with all these things here. And so it says customize. If you click customize, then you'll be able to insert or remove certain tools. And you'll see these are available. And all I've done is inserted the expansion tool. Okay. So very simply, what we're going to do is once we've got A, B, and we think we found point C. Okay, so we've got three points. We then take the expansion tool and we mark it from A up to B. And you just make sure you see it. there's three points and you just make sure we drag this down to point C. And you'll see by the way I've marked this up. So this is FE100, okay? And I've got FE127 and FE1618. Okay, those are just different expansion points. But the main one for today, because we focus on the ABC pattern, you just need to know where the 100% mark is, okay? Very straightforward. If you don't want to use that tool, as I said before, you can just literally measure the distance or trace it out on your chart, and then just simply hold Control C, copy that, and move it across, okay? And that will give you exactly the same thing. So you just if you look at this. So once again, FIB expansion tool, draw from A up to B, okay? Double click on that. And we just move it down to point C and you see it gives us pink line here. Okay, so we copy this red line once again, you'll see it's exactly the same. Okay. So either or whatever is easiest for you. Alright. Now in terms of the settings, one thing what you will notice is if we go to expansion properties, your Default settings are going to be slightly different, okay? You'll have like 0 spot 618 there, and you'll have a few other ones. The main one for the pattern, the ABC pattern, all you really need there is the 100% mark, okay? That's it, okay? All right. So pretty straightforward, I think. Now, if we take the same the same concept, okay, and we move it over to the bullish ABCD pattern, okay, move it over to the bullish side, very simply, remember, we've got three points, A, B, and C, once price starts to actually turn from this point here, okay, maybe you've entered at this point and retracing, whatever the case is, okay, we can then move from here, expansion from A to B, and just adjust this up to point C where it's turning, okay? And that's going to give you your expansion area, and as I said before, if you don't want to do that, you can adjust this. Okay, good. You can simply take this come on uh, take this tool here and just copy it over add it to the highest C and you'll see that FE 100 and it's at that point that either you're looking to take profits okay or you're looking to go long okay so you'd actually be looking to trade 
to the upside from here. You're saying you're doing the same thing, okay? You're buying back at that area. So either you're entering new position or you're buying back your position. So if you're short, you buy back, okay? It squares your position off, right? So what I would suggest is if you're going to use this, and it works extremely well, by the way, if you're going to use it as a tight profit point, just use it like this. If we're going to use it as entry, we need a few more, uh, a few more points. Okay, so let's look at it on the as take profits. Okay, and we can simply just kind of look at at some points on the chart here. You can use it on any time frame, really. Okay, but essentially what we'll be looking at is just identify some clear swing market, like here, for example. We get a clear swing down, then price retraces. Okay, so just copy this over. Like that and you can see our price stores exactly to the pip okay absolutely to the pip before moving okay now you know it does take a bit of work in terms of where to draw these things okay like you know why did I draw it here and not from this high here All right now that's just you know it comes down to kind of you know just a bit of experience really I, you know I can't say you know there's always a reason it's just this swing is much clearer. This is a horrible swing here with a, a nasty looking spike. Um, you know, it's just, it, it really is just a thing of the experience, nothing more. Okay. So we go again from this low up like this. Price rallies. Price has a retracement here. Okay. So we copy this leg and extend it. Okay. This would be the ABCD pattern. You'll see it was only hit a lot later. Okay. So you. You know, if you take profit up here, it possibly would have had it gone through a bit of drawdown or maybe bailed in the trade. It's come very close. I don't think I would have let the market come all the way back against me after missing it by like, you know, two pips or something. Okay. If we look at the larger swing here, so we have this swing up from this low to this high. That would be A, B. Price then retraces down to point C and then very simply extend this okay up here and there's your take profit point you can see our price sells off by about 10 pips right and the same thing here we've got a smaller one from here to here price pulls back from there to there and if we extend this up to here you'll see price goes through the level by about four pips before pulling back, okay. So it's very straightforward in terms of take profits. As I said, if you want to, either you can use these lines or you can just keep it very simple. Fib expansion tool, which is up here, okay. So for example, we could look at maybe from here to here, and to here, and these swings, and you can see prices come very close and it's missed the buy less than two pips okay before collapsing okay so it's not you know it's not as with anything else in the market it's not something that's going to happen all the time but it does work a good uh, a good majority of the time here we've got a swing in here so we go from this swing up to here i think that's high so, yeah it's the same high actually to there you'll see how price moves up into the for the hundred percent mark before fading. Okay. Right. So just very nice, simple little patterns. And as I said, they can literally occur on all time frames. Uh, and we can use them as potential type profit areas. Okay, you can see here an A, B, C and price moves up obviously price extended here past the extension points okay but it's just a nice a nice simple way of looking to take profits you know sometimes it's obviously prices are going to overshoot sometimes it'll undershoot but you know it, it's it's a very good simple uh mechanical way of, of doing things okay let's put it like that and just play around you can see like from here a, B, 
C, D. We still out five pips before fading. Okay. Okay, so that's obviously covering the tape profit uh, option. Okay. In terms of taking these trades, uh, or actually moving the, the, the same pattern forward and looking at actual ta uh, uh, trading them, okay, so we're actually looking to enter as a, as a viable pattern to entry. We'll take the same concept, okay, so remember we've got the initial swing A to B, all right, now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So from A to B, once price starts to retrace from B, okay, you want to take your Fibonacci retracement tool and draw it from the low up to the high, okay. And now is where you want to start paying close attention, okay. Price comes down. I'm not focused. Don't focus on the 23.6 at all, but anywhere between the 38.2. 50%, 618, 70.7, .7, 786, or 886 retracement, okay? So at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 retracements, okay? Any of these here, retracements, is where price can stall out. Now, ideally, you'd want it to stall out exactly on one of these retracements, okay? So if it is 38.2 and starts to move off, that's great. If it hits a 50%, that's great. So I, ideally, I don't want it kind of in the middle. I want it ideally on one of these specific numbers. Now, the most ideal ABC pattern is a stall out at exactly the 618 Fibonacci retracement of A to B. Okay, so I'm going to use that as a guidance for today. You guys can go play with it. Now, in terms of these retracements, right? When you start seeing price stall out at one of these specific retracements, I can automatically think of, in terms of what I'm going to do next, which I'll show you, is basically look at the actual extensions, okay, and which extensions are likely to line up with the actual AB equals CD pattern, all right? So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for an extension point to actually line up with the ABCD structure, right? So instead of, as with we previously looked at the take profit section. We looked at specifically only looking at A, B equals C, D. For an entry point, I'm looking more specifically at the A, B, C, D structure, but also the Fibonacci extension. Okay, so it's a little bit more more complex. So one price moves up A to B, it then pulls back to the six one eight area. Okay. Now it starts to retrace, right? Now once it starts to retrace, I then want to take my Fibonacci tool and draw from B down to point C, okay? Like that, okay? So price needs to retrace, obviously 38.50, it needs to basically break above the highs, right? Now, in terms of the initial retracement, so from the Retracement, this AB retracement. So where C stalls out at the moment, stalls out at 618. Okay. Automatically, you want to think about what we call reciprocal ratios in terms of the extension points. Okay. So the extension point will basically, one of the extensions up here, so we've got 113, 127, 141, 168, 20, 224, etc. Those will complement the actual ABCD pattern, okay? So it just gives you, remember we always talk about confluence, okay? Same thing with these patterns, right? It's exactly the same thing. So when price moves up and then retraces down to 618, I automatically know that the 1618 Fibonacci extension up here is where I want to be looking for an AB equals CD pattern to complete, right? It's just the way ratios work. So if I now take this AB leg and I copy this leg and I extend it to the C point, what you'll see or what you'll notice 
is it stores out exactly at the 1618 extension, okay? And that adds your harmonic confluence, okay, where you have Fibonacci extensions aligning with this harmonic price movement, okay? It's very, very high probability trading opportunities that occur at these areas, right? As I said, this, the exact 618 retracement is very high probability. Okay, this, these two ratios, the 618 and the 1618, are the two main Fibonacci numbers where everything else is derived from. Okay. If you want to go learn all about the Fib numbers, etc., um, just hit Google. There's, there's actually tons of it. It'll, it'll put most people to sleep. Okay, but if you're interested in that stuff, you can kind of see how all the numbers, the mathematical numbers are derived, okay? So just coming back, I'll just show you the, the reciprocal ratios here. When, for example, if we have price move down to a 38%, okay? So in this case hits 38%, and it then starts to retrace, and I can label that point C. Then what I can do is same thing, I take my fib tool and I draw from B to C, okay? I know the reciprocal ratios are gonna be for the A, B, C, D completing at a 38%, the ratios are gonna complete between a 224 and a 2618 area, okay? So once again, if I copy this A, B, C, D area and I extend it, you'll see the D point is at the 2618 area, okay? So it's added weight. We've got the harmonic flow of the market, the AB equals CD, as well as this Fibonacci extension, right? So if we if we now move and down to the 50%, for example, if price moves down to the 50, and we have a bottom in place and price starts to retrace. Once again, I'll take my Fibonacci tool and draw it from B down to C. And this time I'm looking very simply, I'm looking at the 2O extension point. Okay, so if I copy it A, B and attach it to point C, you'll see you have. A, B equals C, D, exactly at that 2 -0. Okay. So that's an area where you'd be looking to sell. So if you just kind of carried on with these numbers, if price retraced, we've covered the 618, if price retraced to 70.7, .7, then I'm looking at a 141. If price retraced to 786, then I'm looking at a 127. And if we had a very deep pullback, the 886, then I'm looking at a 113. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Maybe it's a little bit over the top. Um, but it's it's pretty straightforward, okay? It's just those reciprocal ratios that align with the retracement points, okay? And it just adds the confluence. Okay, now just the opposite occurs on the uh, on the bullish ABCE pattern, okay? So in this case we have just looking at this, we have the way I've drawn it from A to B, price retraces down to the 70.7. .7. So the 70.7, .7, the reciprocal ratio is 1 for 1. Okay, so if I draw a fib retracement from B to C, you'll see the extension point lines up right here, the 1 for 1 area, okay? And this area here, these extensions with that A, B equals C, D pattern, that little, that little base, that, that little block there, that will be referred to what they call a PRZ or price reversal zone, okay? Price reversal zone. So, and this is, this is all, uh, you know, what I'm showing you here. Um, these patterns have always been a, a, a around uh, forever and a day. Um, a guy by the name of Scott Carney, he's got, got some very good books out. And obviously other material and stuff. He's gone and done uh, an enormous amount of work on on these sort of things uh, in terms of of the ratios complementing each other. And stuff. Uh, you know, 
some real in-depth reading and stuff um you can kind of you know google those books they they are uh, um if you're new to the mechanic uh depths okay but um yeah if it's if it's something you're interested in uh, that's pretty pretty decent stuff okay so let's have a look now at sort of application okay so we've we've looked at theory what we want to look at is ABCD patterns in actual um, uh, in actual um, what do you call it application sorry think about that so let's look at this leg down here. We, we look the first one we look at this. So we get a drive down like this, right? And we would label A to B. So when we start seeing a retracement, we want to draw a fib retracement from this downswing. And so this is the this is point A. Okay. Then we get a drive down to point B. Okay, and then price rallies up. You stores out. You see the the six one eight. It pretty much stores a bang on the pip there, and then it starts to pull back. Now, once we start getting the pullback, we can draw a fib tool. So I'll mark this up here. This is point C. So A B and B to C up here like such. Okay. So we take a fib tool. We draw from B up to C. Like that, you'll see this one six one eight area, and remember, we're doing this before obviously all this has happened, okay? Before the right side of the the chart has occurred, so we're kind of doing it when it's like here somewhere, okay? Or even once it's pulled back. So that's kind of what you would see, right? And then you would simply just take this across. Sorry, I can't do it very well. Just but extend it like that. And what you would have then is you would have what we call the your price reversal zone, where you have the A, B, C, D, and the 1618 area coming into alignment. Okay, and it's at that area where you would look to execute a long trade, okay, or look to buy, right? So pretty straightforward, I think. Well, maybe not, but. So let's look at this one here. So in this case, up here we have a rally. Okay. Uh, so it's actually ever so slightly higher. Cover kind of fraction of a pip. So we get a rally. Then price pulls back. So what we want to do, we want to take our FIB tool and draw from the low up to the high. Okay. Like that. And you see a price comes down and it hits a 786 retracement. So automatically I want to start thinking about the reciprocal retracement of the extension. Okay, so we've got this kind of pattern here. This is not a very pretty pattern, but I would be looking at an extension point of a 127. So from this high down to the low there. We have a 127 extension point, which is here, okay? And then, very simply, you're looking for the A, B, C, D, once price turns to equal, okay? So in this case, you're looking at that little zone there, okay? So you've got the extension point and the A, B, C, D area as a confluence zone. That's what we would reference the PRZ or price reversal zone. And it's in that little box there that you're looking to sell. Any questions on that stuff, guys? Okay, let's look at some other examples. So we've got a nice leg up here. Price pulls back. Okay, you see in this case, price kind of stalls out. It goes through the fifth, but it doesn't hit the six one eight. Do you see that? So it moves up. It retraces, but it doesn't actually retrace deep enough to find the 618, and it doesn't move uh, to find the, or it moves too deep to find the 50%. Okay, so in that case, I just would leave this alone, all right? Because the 
the retracement reciprocals are, are just going to be all messed up because it's going to be kind of between uh, a 1618 and a 20 area so you, you know it's just looking somewhere around here when you add the ABCD into this it's not very pretty you'll see kind of overshoots okay so you're really looking for just a very nice clear-cut retracement point to make the next move okay so if we look at this perhaps here from this swing actually let's look at this swing from here to here so we've got a first lap price retraces see it stores out pretty much exactly on the 786 retracement okay so from here down to here so now if I take my fib tool again and draw from this high down to this low I'm looking at the 127 extension okay which is here so I automatically know where I want to focus so we can copy this leg up and just paste it onto the bottom okay so it's at this area here where we look for that completion point right and if you wanted to if you wanted to just go and add in use the actual expansion like we covered before click on the expansion and draw from the the, the low up to the high it down to the low okay and you'll see that 100% mark here lining up with 127 okay so that price reversal zone there it's very small it's within a few pips or a fraction of a pip really price kind of comes in stores out a little bit okay before dropping and we can use this on any time frame let's go have a look at a five minute chart for example Sometimes, obviously, the legs, you know, the legs are not very clear cut. But let's just look, for example, let's just wing it here. This leg up here. So we've got this little swing here, perhaps. And then price pulls back. So if we measure this with a retracement from there up to there. Pulls back. Comes down deeper to a... See this one's kind of between it's pretty much down on the seven eight six. It's just basically just I mean obviously we're dealing with a very small swing. But let's call it a seven eight six. So that would give us an extension point of a one twenty seven extension. Okay. Which is up here. So if we then went and took our full expansion tool, we drew it from the low up to that high. And we go down to that low. It's not a very pretty pattern, but there's your 100% mark, and there's the 127 extension. Price stalls out. We get some nice bearish candle action, and obviously we move lower. Okay. So have a look at this one from this low, that's from the high down to this low. Remember we want at least a 38% retracement. So in this case, we don't actually hit the 38. You see it kind of stalls below. You see this, this is the leg I'm talking about. Okay. So I wouldn't necessarily want to be looking to buy on this. So, you know, we could possibly, let's say we get short here for whatever reason, we could possibly just use this leg simply as a take profit point. Okay. And you'll see that obviously worked out extremely well. Okay. So we get a first leg, retrace, and a second leg. But it doesn't make the 38%, so it wouldn't be a clear cut buy for me. But it may be, you know, if, let's say I'm short here for whatever reason, it may be a, uh, a valid a profit. Okay. And as I said, these things can happen all over the place. When you get a situation like this, Obviously now you've got two swings. You've got a swing low here, and you've got a swing low here. Okay. Then price rallies and it pulls back. Just check on your on your fib. So 
I would take this one here to be more conservative. Price retraces to pretty much a 618 area. So automatically, if I'm going to look to to possibly take a trade off this, I want to think about if it's hit the 618 retracement, then I want to think about a potential 1618 extension, okay? So like that. And as I said, there's nothing wrong with looking at the larger swing, but I, I like to go more on the conservative side, okay? And obviously, you know, we clearly plow through all of it. There's a one six one eight. You see, it does stall out there a little bit, little reaction before obviously moving a lot higher, okay? And in this case, perhaps the larger swing from here to here maybe it was a little bit more interesting. I don't know. It's just missed that 618 area. Just, just, just. But, you know, same thing. Ready. So here's the 1618 ABCD. Okay. In terms of trading these things, uh, you know, you can either use limit orders or you can use. Um, you just wait for confirmation, okay, like some kind of candle pattern or something. So the best is, you know, obviously, if you're keen on using these things, just go and play around with them. See this drop down, it's a nice clear cut drop, price rally, 618, very clear cut, so we want to think about a 1618 extension, right? which is there. So if you went and then drew this in, we got a leg down and a leg up. So if we just copy this leg, extend it. Okay, you see it'll bounce off there. Okay, we leg down. Then we get a leg up, extend this across, okay, see here, A, B equals C, D, then we move up, okay. So, you know, five minute chart for your scalpers, high time frame, you can use it, you know, daily, four hour, whatever you want really. Let's look at this swing here, it's a nice clear cut, price moves down. 886 area, take profit area to be a 113, somewhere up here. Price stalls out a little bit before obviously taking a bigger lunge up. So do this in that leg equals that leg. Okay. Look at these here, from there to there, price of traces. Okay, see so here, A, B equals C, D, basically at the highs, we collapse. Okay, so nice for just for take profits. I know a lot of guys uh, uh, use them for, um, for taking profits. Okay, and they happen literally. Over. So if we looked at the euro now, we could go like this and draw on this big swing here for example you know let's say you went short I don't know here on this maybe this bearish outside bar and you have no idea where you want to look at taking profits well here's a decent place right here okay not to say it's going to get down there but you know at least you've got a a simple target in place you can always manage the trade if need be And you see, work on you know anything you want to trade, guys. Any time frame, any pair, any asset class.
Let's just have a look at these big swings here on his. On here, for example, if you want to look at a type profit, you see here A, B, C, D. Okay, good stalling up point. Maybe look at this one here. I don't know if it's maybe just missed it by a fraction of a pip. This is why I kind of take a slightly more conservative approach, and that's just me. You know, you can be more aggressive. So it's pretty much, you know, it's missed it by literally two pips. Like that. Okay. So maybe you want to short it up here. And then get down here, possible take profit area. Okay. Maybe you want to look to just short the thing. We get a pullback, nice seven eight six. So when you look at it, one twenty seven, which is probably around here somewhere. There's a one twenty seven area. We kind of get off twenty pips or something. Okay. They're not always going to work out, unfortunately, as I said. Um, but it's a it's a pretty reliable method. Okay, and if you want to kind of use these expansion tools there's your hundred percent okay you can look at the larger swings as, as well just play around with it you're going to do your homework with these things okay you see the hundred percent mark we stall out get a bounce of our 18 or 17 pips take another egg down okay So we've got this leg here. Get leg down, retrace, stall out 100%, bottoms out. Here, this one goes it overshoots it somewhat, but nevertheless. Okay, there's 100% mark, stalls out, overshoots, and drops. Even you know if you get long, let's say you got longer here somewhere, and you want to be more aggressive with these these swings all over the place, you know at least you've got a tape profit. You can see price does stall out here, drops you know six pips before moving higher, but at least it's something you know. At least it's something. Uh, we can look at cable. Just look at this quickly from here to here to here. Okay, there's a hundred percent mark there. So if you get long over here, perhaps nice take profit up there. Okay, simple. Maybe look at this swing here from here to here to here. Okay, if you get long here, take profit up here somewhere. What else can we look at? Here to here. Okay, there's your 100% there. As I said, I think it's, you know, you can use them as, as trading uh, opportunities, but they are they are a little more complex. Okay, see so like for this overshoots. So I wouldn't want to be looking to actually take a trade. However, if I was, you know, short here perhaps, I could then look at my extension and you see the hundred percent mark. I mean when price gets down there, it lets you pops off eighteen pips. Okay, you can see at the bottoms out here, comes deep eventually. Eventually it finds the one six one eight after ages. Okay. There's another potential one here. Yeah, as I said, they literally are all over the place. You see from there to there to there, there's your 100% mark. Goes up to the 127, okay, 
and for perhaps more, and then we fade. And as I said, you know, you're not going to find everything that works. Let's say we went short here somewhere, and we're looking at a target. Here's the 100% mark, but it doesn't get made. Okay. So the don't, you know, I want to just show you examples where everything just looks beautiful. That's just not reality. But they are, uh, they are pretty, pretty accurate. Not going to lie. See here, I mean, you can look at the precision on this from this low to this high. Price makes a low, but then makes a slightly lower low. Comes up to 100% mark, bang! 18 pip, it hits the 127, bang! 30 pip. Now, you see here, once again, we've got, we've got these like choppy things here. So, you know, if you were very aggressive. You go for this one. I'm personally more on the conservative side. On the aggressive swing here, you see this down swing. Price retraces, drops down, and actually hits it to the pip before it rallies. Okay, I would have probably been looking here from this high to this low to this high. So a little bit more conservative. Okay. But it's still. You know, at least it, it gets the profits going. Okay, so from this, this low to this high to this low, there's your 100% mark. Okay. Even on these big swings, okay, from here to here to here, there's a 100% mark. And then if we look at this swing, From there to there to there to there, there's hundred percent mark, stores out, comes right back up before drifting lower. Okay. You look at this swing from here to here to here. Okay, there's your hundred percent mark, bang, fades. Okay, now the reason these things work, I mean, it, you know, a lot of it, you always talk about, you know, different reasons and what, what, and market cycles and everything, but uh, a lot of people, a lot of people focus on these for take profits, okay, a lot of people, uh, and it's not just, it's not just, you know, mechanical, or, or should I say, um, it's not just uh, discretionary traders, okay, uh, it's also algorithms, okay? Algorithms at uh, at banks and things they use these extension points and these hundred percent marks as as uh, as built-in take profit points, okay? Right, guys, I'm going to wrap it there. I hope you found that helpful. Um, so we've basically covered the ABCD pattern, either as a take profit point. Uh, that's kind of where I think is a uh, you guys should probably look at um, starting out more than as an entry point. Uh, entry is obviously, as you've seen, a lot more complex, um, but still uh, pretty decent, okay? Pretty decent, but, you know, there's, as with anything, uh, you know, uh, trading-wise, uh, it needs a bit of practice uh, and a bit of finesse to kind of, you know, get the, get the gist of it. Cool, guys. Uh, I'll catch you all uh, tomorrow, I think. Take care. Thank you.